Yes, there we go. That's it. Okay. You can use that then. It doesn't matter if that helps at all. Yes, so Councillor Black due to an illness and Councillor Breen due to a travel commitment. Thank you. Um, any declarations of interest this meeting from anybody? Mm -hmm. no? um, first main agenda item is the minutes of the previous meeting. Has anybody got any comments on those minutes? Mm -hmm. no? No. Would anybody like to propose the minutes? Oh, happy to. Oh, I'm happy to second. Okay, and happy to approve. Anybody? Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, public participation. There isn't anybody in the room, I believe, wanting to speak. No, no, no. So if we could move on past that. So the first um, main agenda item for tonight is the payment schedules. Um, there are three sections to this. There is the review of the payment schedules themselves. There's a review of the cash book and bank reconciliations, and there is to receive the quilter GBF report for July and August, or reports, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, what I suggest is if we could consider the reports under each of the three headings uh, and vote whether to approve the reports under a heading mm -hmm. before moving on to the next set, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. So the first heading is the payment schedules, and we have the quickly summarise these, the Sandwich Tollbridge Fund payment schedules for mid August and mid September, Sandwich Tollbridge Fund bills for the payment schedules for mid August, end of August and mid September, and Museum and Archives payment schedules for mid August, end of August and mid September. And there's attachments 2A to 2C that fall under this heading. Does anybody have any comments they'd like to raise? Those acceptance of those. Anybody like mm -hmm. to second if there's any comments? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Thank you. And vote, please. Right, second heading is the cash book and back bank reconciliations as of 31st of July for the Sandwich Tollbridge Fund. And the Sandwich Tollbridge Fund Guild Hall and Sandwich Tollbridge Fund Museum. That's attachments 2D to 2G that fall under this heading with 2D relating to the cash book and 2E to 2G to the bank reconciliations. Again, any comments from anybody? Um, Four? 1450 miscellaneous £12,000. Are you talking about the cash book? Sorry. This is uh, 2D, oh, two. the cash book financial statement, number 1450, miscellaneous 12,000 pounds. Okay. So is... That's so, the yeah. budget figure. So, yeah, I need to clarify that with the RFI. Okay. Yeah. 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 It could be, that, that's what I'm saying, but I, I don't want to listen to no, 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 so I'll, yeah, I think it's to do with the robot. That's a very good guess, that's an excellent guess. Okay, so there's a comment there and um, you can feed that back. Okay, so um, happy to propose those. I'm happy to propose, I'll second, I'm not sure you propose for me. And votes, all in favour? So the third heading is the Quilter Achievement Reports for July and August, and attachment to H falls under this heading. Um, I just wanted to say that we have arranged um, an online pre-meeting with Quilter Achievement. One second, find my notes. Which is on the 23rd, was that? Yes, Monday the 23rd of September, 6pm. 6 6 
Um, and there we will have the opportunity to discuss, amongst other things, the level of risk, mm -hmm. um, which quilt achievements are shown as medium, so you can get um, an explanation of what that actually means, and an explanation regarding the responsibility investment policy that they've applied to the fund. Again, our understanding of that would, um, would be hopefully better informed on that meeting. So firstly, on just that broad point, are there any points, Councillor Anderson? Yeah, um, unfortunately I will miss um, this online meeting of the quilt achievers, but I have sent um, a comment to, yeah. to members of this committee, yes. yes, not to all councillors, was it to all councillors? I can't remember. Yeah. Um, uh, and I think with the data that we have here, again, it, I mean, the capital, the, the income return is 0.1% mm. um, between the 2018 and the 31st of July. And I think there's another month as well, which is similarly very low. And yeah. um, really, it is very surprising. I mean, mm. it's not just comparing with the data that is also here below that, uh, you know, the comparative data, the benchmark data that we did here. But I know that it is possible to get a much, not a much more, but, um, you know, well, in, well, 10 times what we're looking at here. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I find that surprising. Very valid comments. Mm -hmm. um, I think we've repeated a number of times, haven't we? And hopefully we can at least get a better explanation, I hope. Yeah. Council Mike. Yeah, so at the, at the very top, the performance says capital return June 24 to July 24 minus 0.1%, but for the year to 20, July 24, 10.3%. Yeah. Yeah. Does that mean capital return? Does that mean the increase in capital? Yeah, it's grown yeah, by 10%. Exactly. Which is uh, good, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is exactly yes, good. But it could be, yeah. um, I, I, I don't, I mean, I think that was a particularly good year mm -hmm. for the stock market. Um, but the, um, the fund is two point the, over 2 million, it, and it was 1.7, wasn't it? At one point? It was. Yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah, it's gone down to 1, you're correct. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's my thing. Yes, yeah. it's just, you know. My suggestion would, whoever is attending, and, and thank you for your comments, um, Councillor Anderson, because I've read through them and, and I'm in, you know, uh, in sync with what, what you're saying, but I think anybody who's going to actually attend the, the meeting, if they've got capacity to do some homework, because I think Councillor Miles, you're touching on some of the points, mm -hmm. it would be really good to have some um, mm -hmm. data building around that rather than just um, mm -hmm. making, um, you know, general comments about it doesn't look good yeah. enough. Yeah. Um, that would be helpful. So, yeah, yeah I, was, so I was saying the same. I believe another um, issue that Councillor Anderson raised was the final selling shares yes. on a frequent that basis. Might be yeah. the so that might be the explanation yeah. that they because of the, the actual fees, their yeah. fees mm -hmm. have, have skewed the, yeah. the actual return on capital. So, and we need, that is a very good question, we need to pose that. Yes, because um, my return that I get, you know, today, is net of fees. Yeah. yeah. And it's yeah. quite a considerable amount. Yeah. I mean, is, is there an industry standard, an industry level in terms of the amount of activity you would expect on funds? Like, you know, that's the sort of thing that Indeed. if anybody has to, capacity to look we into. To ask. Yeah, yeah, we need to question as to yeah. to that. I think in relation to that question, I think that would be relative also to the risk factor. Yeah. So for instance, um, I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm an expert on this, but say for instance, if you're on a, a, a low risk factor, they might put your money into things like Shell Oil, mm -hmm. which we all know has a very good return for a very low risk factor. Yeah. Um, so, um, but whereas if you're on perhaps a medium to high risk factor, it might be a case that when when the the stock looks to be dropping, um, you know, at an exceedingly fast rate, 
um, do quilt achieve yet have to suddenly sell before it drops be below a certain level which is is what I have been told is the case mm. and we need to find that out. Can I comment on that? I, mm. I should uh, you say in my notes um, this country that um, as I understand it because I have talked to talk the RFO about this um, this portfolio the, the Pilgrim Town portfolio is a need is run as a as managed as medium high risk and my portfolio is managed at a medium low risk. So you would expect um, this portfolio, the Turkish Fund portfolio, actually to be doing better. Um, and also, my portfolio is almost entirely ethical investments, which are known to be less productive in terms of income than the kinds of things that we that the Pilgrim Fund is investing in. So it's all a puzzle. Mm -hmm. Any more observations on I think, that point? Yeah, so the fees, um, nearly 3,000, is that the same every month or is it based on a percentage of income? Mm -hmm. it's really I think that's a question we can pose. So it's yeah. 30 yeah. odd thousand yeah. a year, which to me doesn't seem yeah. excessive. But, um, on the ethical thing, I think again that's something we could discuss with them. Yeah, because I, mean, I know we've yeah. got fossil fuel, we've got um, Diageo, which is a big yes. you know, alcohol. Do we want to be investing yes. in alcohol, no. etc.? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, it would be nice to invest in things that will help with climate change and so on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. So I, I propose that, um, that this is taken forward to that meeting, yep. that, that all councillors, not just the ones on this committee, submit any further questions and that those that are able to do any benchmarking with their existing portfolios or other ones, other known ones, um, please do so and come back to us on that. Could I, could I also just remind everyone that the Tolbridge Fund is not just this portfolio, it's the assets. It is very true. That's very need correct. to take a kind of holistic view of yep. yeah. all of that and have a proper asset management strategy. Yeah, and I suppose that's a very good point, Councillor Arzi, in the sense that with the property manager on board, what it will be doing for us as a group of people uh, and for the full um, uh, members of the, the trust is opening our eyes to um, Sweating the consequences of managing those assets mm. for the future. Yeah. So, okay, so um, could we vote on accepting this? Yes, I mm -hmm. propose that yeah, we should. Yeah, can we have a second, Councillor Wiles? Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks. Okay, okay. Moving on to the next item. This was covered under the previous meetings. This is item, agenda item six, the unexpected large income receipts and potential in, in, sorry, inefficiencies, potential efficiencies. Um, I wasn't expecting a, a smoothie to go through this, you've already noted that. Yeah, yeah it's tonight, thank you. Okay, happy to move on. Proposed that noting yeah. it. I'll second it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we then have budget setting draft pro forma report, which I think is slightly different, uh, not, not um, significantly. So maybe the town clerk could just quickly um, refer yeah. to it. Yes, of course. Um, yes, so thank you, Chair. It's it's not really um, different in um, respects of um, the process we want to follow. Um, the only thing is, obviously, um, we've got Tolbridge Fund <laughs> with a project request form on the pro forma, and again, it's split down into um, if there's a committee that want this, um, any existing budget that's effective, uh, new budget to be created if that's the proposal when the um, project's likely to start and how long that project's likely to last. And then it's just broken down into the items of expenditure with a description estimated cost. And it does only have to be estimated. And I think you, know, you don't have to have other. If there are any other um, grant funding opportunities or outside funding and um, the amount that you're requesting and then any notes that you want to add as well. And for the RFA, it's just to give a brief example here, there's equipment consumable staff time being hired. Yeah. So the only thing I would carry forward, um, Town Park, from the other meeting was the inclusion um, yes. of Councillor Pennington's suggestion. Yes. Yeah. 
So the intention is to take this forward to the full um, meeting of the, of the trustee. Yeah. 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 Uh, is somebody happy to propose that? Yeah. yeah. Second, Councillor Painter. <coughs> Okay, um, agenda item eight, the STBF grants process review. So at the last meeting of this committee, we reviewed and commented on three draft documents um, to support applications for STBF grants. With the intention of adopting these for 25-26, subject to approval by the trustee of the Tollbridge Fund. Documents were um, an updated criteria an updated application form for grants and an updated process for considering grant applications. The first two had a number of suggested amendments which have been reflected in the documents available for this meeting. The, the process was supported at the last meeting without any comments being made, so I, I don't propose that we look at that. But maybe Councillor Wiles could take us through the two documents that have got some amendments in there and opening up to members to allow them to say um, what's been done, address us their concerns, and anything new that might need to be added. So, yeah, I went through the minutes from the last meeting and I've taken all the comments that were agreed and hopefully amended these documents. So the, the grant application form has been amended with, for example, uh, the maximum number of words in certain cap, um, boxes, and then the draft criteria has also been amended in accordance with the minutes. So, have I missed anything? No. <laughs> That's all you're about to say. Um, oh, but, it's but, it's but, it's but, but, it's yes, um, it, it's actually in the minutes, but um, I pointed out that um, when it comes to relevant legislation, um, that um, I know that I know that the Disability Discrimination Act 1995 has been um, completely superseded by the Equality Act 2010. And there may be other legislation in that list. Yeah. And I don't, that it has, that are no longer, pieces of legislation which are no longer relevant because they've been replaced or repealed. Um, and we really do need to be, if we're going to ask, our applicants for a professional presentation, we need to, to mm -hmm. be absolutely yes, on yeah. top of what is relevant. I didn't feel qualified to amend that. <laughs> <laughs> can, I yeah. can I suggest that that's, that's a very, that's a very uh, good good point, Councillor Anderson, and can I suggest that um, we pay a, quite a large fee to an organisation called Kent Association of Local Councils, and we do have a um, consultancy basis with them. So could I suggest that the town clerk perhaps um, gets them on board to help with this um, and, and possibly reviews all of those acts and, and they yeah. are could, because they are the legal local government authority, they would know whether those acts have been succeeded and they do have access to legal advisors. Yeah. So I'm just putting that forward as a yeah as a, a shortcut yeah. for the town clerk. I was just thinking there's somewhere else in the form which actually mentions the Disability Discrimination Act 1995 and that needs to be changed. Mm -hmm. So can I ask the town clerk, are you happy to accept that? Yes. Okay, and does mm -hmm. that... Um, it won't be done for the meeting on Monday, oh, that's all. So yes, what I so could do is... Question. I can <laughs> I can highlight that section and ask yes. members to um, take um, you know approve it yes, subject to exactly the, yeah I yes, found a second place yeah. where it's mentioned uh, on on the sandwich Tobridge kind of checklist of information required with grant applications which again um, I think it's the fifth box or the sixth box down confirmation that statutory obligations under the disability discrimination act I seem to recall that Councillor Green and I suggested at the last meeting that there should be a section on evaluation. I'm just scrolling through, I didn't spot that. Yes, 
So there was a form shared at the last meeting, and um, we didn't have it. There were there were no um, comments on that form, so I haven't brought that to the meeting today. But there certainly is an evaluation form as well included in the process. It's yeah. included in the set that goes yeah. to the full meeting. Yeah. Just to say, is this only for groups? I mean, what if there's an individual that wants to do something with charity, similar to what council yeah. has done with, with the K9 telephone box? I mean, we have had some of the box at by the post office on the left, haven't we? You know, there might be something community, you know, like painting the seats up or something, you know, yeah. or restaining the seats along the wall. So, so it would be an individual doing yeah. it. You might want money. I don't know if it's available for that David district shed, I don't know. So there might be an individual come that wants money for a specific project. So I think we did council. make this point last time, and if I remember rightly, Council Wells might have answered this. If you want to um, remind us of I the think answers. It, I think, think it says will generally not be for individuals. So it, it, it gives an opt out clause. Yeah, it's, it, in in exceptional circumstances, it like, could be an individual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this one would be at our discretion. Are you okay with that? Yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah. So, is anybody happy to propose the. Yep, yeah, I'm very happy to process with the amendments. Yeah. Um, I think it should go forward um, with a, a caveat to say that the, the all the um, laws, relevant laws, yeah. will be updated um, through, through consultation, through consultation Calc. with yeah. CALC um, so that that can be done. But this shouldn't stop us. No from um, uh, voting on and agreeing this amended mm. form. Yeah, Anybody you. happy to second that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Councillor Barnes? Sorry, I didn't see you. Approve? Yep. Good, thank you very much. Um, just before we get to the final item, I just want to refer to the action log because this meeting picked up a few of the actions that were outstanding. So we had two, four, five open actions of which three are now um, for closure and they relate to the process, the grants that we've just discussed, but these two outstanding actions. One was that Council Green was going to do similar to what he did for the Finance General Purpose Committee to just to um, table each of the terms of reference uh, activities, so um, we can follow that up, it's, it's not critical in this meeting. And the second one, the Town Clerk is going to discuss with the RFO, how it might be possible to incorporate the museum budget in the more in-depth analysis and review of budgets. Uh, and whilst it was to report back to this meeting, I think clashes of leave, etc., mm -hmm. impacted that. So we'll just defer that to October if that's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, next meeting, Wednesday, the 16th of October, um, 2024, again following the, um, the GP committee meeting. Because we're happy for it to close, we will close. Mm -hmm.